When I say Volker Tov, you say? When I say Volker Tov, you say? Everybody come on, come on. Everybody, oh yeah, oh yeah. Everybody, uh-huh, uh-huh. Volker Tov. Let's see. Moratia gets to call on some friends today to tell me what they do when they wake up in the morning. I'm going to first call on Mickey. Mickey, what do you do when you wake up in the morning? Oh, you jump on your bed? Yeah, did I hear you correctly? Yay, okay, ready? When I wake up in the morning, I jump on my bed. When I wake up in the morning, I jump on my bed. Okay, everybody, let me hear you singing. Bo-ger-to, bo ger to bo 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 to bo ger to bo 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 to Let's see. I'm going to call on another friend. Let's see who's here. Oh, I'm going to ask. Oh. Gita! Ah. Oh, this is my pirate baby. Gita! Oh, you know what? I can't unmute you. Can you ah, unmute you over there? I, I'm okay. Hi, Gita! What do you do when you wake up in the morning? I get dressed. <gasps> you get dressed. Ah. Oh, I love it. Ten, Ready? Let's ten. sing. When I wake up in the morning. I get dressed when I wake up in the morning. I get dressed. Okay, Gibby, you ready to sing with me? Here, I have a, a special guest who's a pirate. Ready? No. I'm gonna call on one more friend. Tell me what they do when they wake up in the morning. Let's see. Oh, where did you go? <gasps> Shayna Leia, what do you do when you wake up in the morning? What do you do? Do you brush your teeth? Yeah, you brush your teeth. You ready? When I wake up in the morning, I brush my teeth. When I wake up in the morning, I brush my teeth. When I wake up in the morning, I brush my teeth. Okay, everybody, out of five, let me hear it. Bokerto, bokerto, bo, 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 Boker Tov, Yellow Dean, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I'm now going to pass to Maura Fruny. Hi, good morning. Are we ready to start our day? We open our sea door with love to thank Hashem from above. My heart is bursting with joy as I dive into you. Each letter is a gem so precious to Hashem. I dive in with my sea door every single day. Each letter is a gem so precious to Hashem. I dive in with my sea door every single day. Hi everyone, are you ready to sing the Aleph Bet? You can follow along. Aleph Bet Bet, Aleph Bet Bet, Gimel Dalit Hey, Gimel Dalit Hey, Vav Zayin Chet Tet, Vav Zayin Chet Tet, Yud kaf chaf, yud kaf chaf, lamed memnun, lamed memnun, samechayim pei pei, samechayim pei pei, tadi kuf resh, tadi kuf 
Separation, sin, and tough. I'm going to turn the page. You can all lie down and close your eyes and pretend to go to sleep so I can wake you up to say our moda ani. Are you ready? You can even snore. Shh. Listen for the notes. <sighs> Wake up! Moda ani lefanecha melecha nikayam Jehazarta Thank you, Hashem, for all the sunshine and for the raindrops in the fall and for the flowers in the springtime. But for the Torah, we thank you most of all. We open one eye, we open two. We say moda because it means thank you. We wash our yadayim six times, that's true. That's what every Jewish boy and girl must do. We raise our Shema hand up so high. That's our right hand. We say the Shema, you and I. Hashem is one. Hashem is king. Hashem created everything. Cover your eyes with your right hand and say Shema El Melech Neaman. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Are you ready? If you have a Torah, you can get it right now. And if you don't have a Torah, give yourselves a hug because you are like a Torah. Little Torah, little Torah, let me hold you tight. Teach me, teach me all your mitzvah so I can do what's right. Torah teaches every Jew. Torah, Torah, I love you. Are you ready for some jumping? Should I invite Miriam out to jump with us? Because she really does love jumping. Yep, I do. Okay. Everybody stand up out of your seats. Let's get some our bodies moving. Torah, 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 Hands go down. I can turn myself around. I can stand up on one shoe. I can listen. So can you. I can sit. I'll show you how. Sadaka time is starting now. If you have some Sadaka, you can get out your Sadaka box and a penny or two. Or you could pretend by putting your finger like this, like you're holding some money, and we're going to pretend to put it in a box. Are you ready? Sadaka, Sadaka, Sadaka. This is what we give to the poor people to help them live. So they'll have food and clothes. So they'll have food and clothes. Even a penny a day will go a very long way. So they'll have food and clothes. So they'll have food and clothes. Even a penny a day will go a very long way. Hey. Hold on tight to a friend or a sister or a brother or a mother or a father. We're gonna sing Ani Mamin. Are you ready? Ani Ma'amin, Ani Ma'amin, Ani Ma'amin. Be'muna Shalema, Be'viyat HaMashiach, Fiyaf HaPishayit Mame Ani Ma'amin. Im koze acha kelo mecho yom sheyavo ani mamin. And I believe Mashiach is coming even though it may take so 
belonging us back to Eretz Yisrael, because that's where we belong. Okay, we're going to sing our goodbye song, even though we're really going to count the Omer next. Okay, are you ready? It's such a good feeling to know you're alive. It's such a happy be feeling you have a neshama inside and when you wake up ready to say modaani to start my day it's such a good feeling a very good feeling the feeling you know that i'll be there when the days are new and i will have more mitzvahs to do and you'll do things that make hashem proud i'm happy to be a jew okay are you ready let's start going to harsi now you can tap you can clap and count along. Okay, we're counting, we're counting the days. Hi, yom yom, echad, run our way from Pesach until Shavuot time. Seven times seven is 49. The days, the weeks are going by. We count all the days till we stood at Harsi night. The day that we love is Chag HaShavuot, when Hashem gave us the Torah and mitzvot. We're getting really high up there. Can you see all those numbers? Do you see this one right here? This one is next Tuesday. And it has some fire there. Next Monday, I'll tell you all about that day. Okay? Let's count together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. What comes after 26? 27. That's right. If you said 27, that's right. I'm going to make it a flower, and my pattern is brown today. All my sevens are brown. And then to write 27, I'm going to turn this way. I'm right handed. We're going to write a two. And a seven. Twenty-seven. Good job counting. Now we're gonna to go to more Angela for a calendar. Can you say unmuted for a second? Good morning, friends. Okay. Yesterday was Tuesday, May 5th. So if yesterday was Tuesday, that means that today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, May. After five is, you just counted, <coughs> it is six. I'm gonna put up the number six. All right, we're gonna sing today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, it's Wednesday, today. You could do it faster. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, it's Wednesday, today. Okay, let's sing. Um, we snapped yesterday, so we'll do. There are seven. There are. There are seven days in a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Nice job. Let's do our months. You can pat your knees or snap your fingers or you can clap. Ready? January, February, March, and April, May, and June, and July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Twelve, twelve, twelve months coming. Twelve, twelve, twelve months coming. Twelve, twelve, twelve months coming. These are the months of the year. Nice job. Welcome back. I'm going to tell you the story of Rabbi Kiva using puppets. Hello, this is Rabbi Kiva. He's a lion. Yup. I have a song for you. Can you sing it with me? Uh huh. It's all about me. Okay, are you ready? <clears throat> 
Many years ago, a poor shepherd boy watched his sheep all day. Akiva didn't even know his olive days, which all of us can say. Akiva didn't even know his olive days, which all of us can say. Rachel, my dear wife, gave me good advice, and this is what she said. It's never too, st too late to start learning Torah. If you use your head, it's never too late to start learning Torah. If you use your head. So Rabbi Kiva learned, learned both night and day. A Talmud Chacham he became. He had many Talmudim who learned Torah. And we can do the same. He had many Talmudim who learned Torah, and we can do the same. I like that song, Rabbi Akiva. Who thinks? It's all about how when I was a young shepherd boy, I, well, shepherd means you watch sheep. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. That's what a shepherd is. Um, sheep, sheep, come on out. Meh. Hi. So I was a young shepherd boy, and I watched sheep. That's me. And I didn't even know how to read the olive face. <laughs> oh, that's okay. You could still learn. No, I'm too old. I'm 40. That's okay. Um, Rachel told me to tell you that you could still learn Torah. I can? Well, one day Rabbi Akiva was out in the field and he saw a rock that had a hole in it. It was like a really big hole and there was this water that was dripping down. And it made a hole in the rock. Yup. And I looked at it and I said, hey, even something that is as soft as water can change something as hard as a rock if it never stops dripping. Maybe if I try really hard and put a lot of effort in and never give up, I can learn to read Hebrew. And that's just what he did. Rabbi Akiva was 40 years old and he went to school. He went to preschool and he learned how to read the Aleph base. And then he got, he learned more and more and he studied day and night. Yeah, I, I studied day and night. That means I very rarely slept. It was hard. I was very tired. But I love learning Torah. So he learned how to learned Torah and you read the Aleph base and yep you became a Talmud Chacham. That's right. I learned a lot of Torah and I even had students who learned from me. One day when Rabbi Akiva was coming home from the yeshiva where he was learning. Ch -ch 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 -ch, that's me coming home. Oh okay. He came home and his wife was inside their house and she didn't see him. I don't see you okay? Okay. So she was talking to a friend and she said, and Rabbi Kiva heard him say, if Rabbi Kiva would come home, I would tell him it's too good to learn Torah and that he could go and learn Torah for another 12 years. I am so happy when he is learning Torah. Rabbi Kiva heard that. I did. And he went right back to Yeshiva to learn for another 12 years. Mm -hmm. And when they came back, when Rabbi Kiva brought his students back to, um, to his hometown, there were thousands and thousands of students after him, and they saw this woman, that's me, and she was coming up to Rabbi Kiva, and they didn't want to let her greet him because they didn't know who she was. But Rabbi Kiva told his students, you must treat her with respect. All of the Torah that we know is because of her, Rachel. That's me. Oh, thanks, Akiva. So we learn from that, that we can always try and always work really hard and we can learn so much. This Friday is a time called Pesach Sheni. Did you, did you do Pesach at home? You did? Yeah? Well, some people missed Pesach when they were in the desert, but Hashem made a Pesach Sheni because it's never too late. We can always try again. And with that, we're going to go to Mora for me for a story. Hi, everybody. On Sunday, it's a special day for our mothers called Ma Mother's Day. 
<laughs> Today we're going to be reading two books about mommies. Let's start with this one. Are You My Mother? Are You My Mother by P.D. Eastman. You like this book. This is a book that we read in Tipot a lot. A mother bird sat on her egg. The egg jumped. I must get something for my baby bird to eat, she said, so away she Yay. went. Inside the nest, the egg jumped. It jumped and jumped and jumped until out came a baby bird. Where is my mother, he said. He did not see her anywhere. I will go and look for her, he said. Out of the nest, he went down, 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 plop. The baby bird could not fly, but he could walk. Now I will go and find my mother, he said. Are you my mother, the baby bird asked the, asked the kitten. The kitten just looked and looked. It did not say a thing. Are you my mother, the baby bird asked the hen. No, said the hen. Are you my mother, the baby bird asked the dog. I am not your mother, I am a dog, said the dog. Are you my mother, the baby bird asked the cow. How could I be your mother, said the cow. I am a cow. The baby bird stopped to think. The kitten and the hen were not his mother. The dog and the cow were not his mother. I have a mother, said the baby bird. I know I do. I will find her. I will. I will. Just then, the baby bird saw a big thing. You are my mother, he said. The big thing said, snort. Oh, no, said the baby bird. You are not my mother. You are a scary snort. The snort lifted the baby bird up, up, up. Then something happened. The snort put the baby bird right back in the tree. The baby bird was home. Just then the mother bird came back. I know who you are, said the baby bird. You are not a kitten or a hen or a dog. You are not a cow or a snort. You are a bird and you are my mother. And then we have another book. This one's called I Love You, Mommy. And it's by Eddie Evans, illustrated by Rusty Fletcher. My mommy always finds a way to make me feel special every day. Because she's fun and caring too, I love everything we do. We sometimes go to the street fair to see the neat attractions there. Maybe we'll eat hot dogs on sticks and see a magician doing tricks. At the stadium, we clap and cheer for the baseball players every year. Together, we love to stand and shout. One, two, three strikes are out. When lightning comes and raindrops fall, we stay indoors and have a ball. We bake bread and eat it warm and forget about the thunderstorm. The museum I like best of all is filled with dinosaurs big and tall. Mommy takes me all around to see the bones found in the ground. Quiet time is inside is nice. We play a game sometimes twice or make puppets from old socks, mommy keeps in a homemade box. Basketball is my favorite sport. I shoot and dribble down the court. Mom's a coach and she helps me to be the best that I can be. Everything we do and see becomes a treasured memory. I love you, mommy, and this is true. The greatest gift is a hug from you. Marky is going to say the goodbye. Thank you, Yellow Dean, for joining us today. Uh, if you're in the Mayam class, please stay on the call because we're going to do your share time after this. Tomorrow, Maura Angela is going to start talking about the life cycle of a butterfly. Maya, where did our caterpillars go, honey? Let me show you what our caterpillars are doing today. Look at how big they're getting. They're getting so much bigger. They're getting nice and fat like the hungry caterpillar, right? Soon maybe they'll start climbing to the top and forming their chrysalis. We'll have to see. Shalom Chavarim, Shalom Chavarim, Shalom, Shalom. Lehitrot, Lehitrot, Shalom, Shalom. Goodbye, my friends. Have peace, my friends. Have peace, have peace. Till we meet again, till we meet again.
and happy, happy. Shalom, Chavarim, Shalom, Chavarim, Shalom, Shalom. Lehitrot, Lehitrot, Shalom, 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 Shalom. Thanks for joining us today. Mayim, stay on. Everybody else, have a wonderful, wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow.